Coming into the newsroom from the Caribbean where Hurricane Burl made landfall today as a Category 4 storm. It brought winds up to 150 miles per hour, blowing off rooftops, uprooting trees and damaging island infrastructure. Chief Meteorologist Chris Holcomb tracking the, uh, the, the storm's path. So Chris, now you say it is a Category 5 storm, very dangerous. It is a very dangerous storm and the barrel now being a Category 5, this is the earliest that we've ever had a Category 5 hurricane here. Before that, the earliest was Emily and that was on July 17th of 2005. So it's been a long time since we've had a hurricane at this strength this early in the season. season. Look at this. 160 mile an hour winds moving west northwest at about 22 miles an hour. Here's the storm. As you mentioned, it already did make a landfall here in the Grenada Islands uh, here in the southern parts of the Windward Islands. It's now moving into the Caribbean. It is very strong and it continues to strengthen. It fluctuated a little bit earlier today. It went from a four to a three, then back to a four. Now it is a category five hurricane. We have tropical storm warnings in effect for the southern coast of Haiti and the Dominican Republic, and then we also have have a hurricane warning in effect for Jamaica. Here is the track that just came in at the top of the hour. This is with the latest update from the National Hurricane Center. It shows it going back to a category four storm and then a category three and even near category two as it nears Jamaica. We don't know for sure if it's going to be a direct hit on Jamaica. They will be feeling some impacts there. And what's happening is as it moves to the west, it's encountering some drier air and some shear in the atmosphere. And that's why we think it'll weaken to a category two than a Category 1, and then after encountering land here on the Yucatan Peninsula, uh, becoming a tropical storm as it moves into uh, the southern parts of the Gulf of Mexico. An interesting thing that we're seeing, though, on the extended models is that they're trying to turn it a little bit more to the north and west. So still too early to tell if it would have any impact on the United States, but that is something that we're definitely going to have to watch. We think it would be well to the south of us here uh, from the Atlanta area or Georgia area. We're still in the